Welcome to vethospital.com's video. This little video clip looks at grass seeds and why we need to look closely at the eyes. This is little Pippin, a little six month old Springer Spaniel, and at one o'clock in the morning her eye was bright red. Although surprisingly she was showing very little discomfort and wasn't rubbing at the eye, which is the sort of thing that we would normally expect to find with foreign bodies. But down in the corner of the eye, on the lower eyelid, there was this tiny little spot. And under sedation and local anaesthesia, we were able to remove the culprit, a tiny little grass seed. And owners sometimes wonder why we suggest using sedation and using local anaesthetic to examine red eyes or eyes that appear to be sore. And this video illustrates the need to examine the eye properly and to make sure we don't miss horrible little foreign bodies like this. If we had missed that little grass seed, it would have carried on tracking down the tear duct and lead to infection and problems and pain and discomfort for a number of days, if not weeks, or maybe even years. So careful examination is absolutely essential in these situations. just making sure there's no other foreign bodies left in there. And we also check the upper puncta as well, and that appears to be fine. We've already checked behind the third eyelid and the rest of the conjunctival sac. Just a quick note about the normal anatomy, the normal openings of the tear ducts that drain the tears down into the nose. So there's the upper puncture on the upper lid and the lower puncture on the lower eyelid. Many thanks to Pippin for allowing us to use the video.